Hey y'all, this is Fine's Girl, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have an unboxing for you guys. Um, I am finally going to retire this box and not use it to record various um, other shoe boxes. This one is going to be used for um, the theme that's in here today, and the theme that's in here is um, one of my favorites. I really love the way this came out, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Um, I tried real hard to come up with a lot of things to put in here, and I just think it really turned out nice. So, I can't wait for you guys to see it. Um, and if you aren't a subscriber, please consider uh, subscribing to my channel and hitting the like button and the notification bell. And if you would like to leave a comment, feel free to do that. I enjoy um, answering comments on my uh, channel and it allows me to get to know you guys a little bit. Um, I can't hear you speaking, but <laughs> you know, I can see what you say and I can respond back. So that's kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, let's get started with this box. It is, as you can see, very full. It's, um, it's heavy. It's got a lot of stuff in here, and I just absolutely love it. I love the way it turned out. Okay. Well, as you can see, you can probably guess the theme. The theme is watermelon, and I absolutely love watermelon. <laughs> it's one of my favorite fruits. So, this is what it looks like. Big box, a lot of stuff, and so let me show you what I've got. <clears throat> First of all, when she opens this box, she's going to see this beautiful shirt in this beautiful color. Um, I got this off of uh, Timu, and I think it's just so pretty. It's a really pretty shirt, and I hope that she'll love it. It's short sleeve. Um, so, I got that. Next, she has a watermelon-shaped um, um, makeup sponge container. This was from Dollar Tree. I'm sure some of you saw it. Some of you may have bought it. Um, I just put the whole thing in, obviously, because I wanted the watermelon. And I didn't bother to open it or anything else. Um, she has a pair of watermelon flip-flops. I hope I can remember how to pack this back up. <laughs> she has watermelon flip-flops. I hope these will fit. Um... This I bought, it said this was a pencil pouch. Okay. Well, I started thinking about it. It, since it's cloth and it's, you know, it's very soft and um, everything, I thought, you know, this won't last long if she puts sharpened pencils in here. It's just going to puncture, puncture the plastic inside and mess it up. So, I decided not to use it as her pencil pouch, and I just took the strap in temporarily because I didn't want it tangled up everywhere. But inside, I put um, her underwear. I put um, all of her, well, her lip balm. This is Rocket. <laughs> she has um, some watermelon barrettes and a clip for her hair. I think these are cute. And she has this little watermelon um, band for her hair, headband. That's cool. And in this little bag, she has her jewelry, which wants these bags this year are kind of being a pain. They keep coming open, and I don't really want to knot them. So I've been trying to tie like bows in them, but. I don't know if I'm going to get these again. I didn't notice that last year, but they're kind of a pain this year. So, anyway, she's got a pair of watermelon earrings. She's got this pretty um, watermelon necklace. And all of that came from Timu. The little bag came from Timu. The jewelry all came from Timu. Uh, the Brits, um came from Timu. I think the, the little clip, that came from Dollar Tree, I believe, and that came from Dollar Tree. <clears throat> so, I decided to put that in here. As you can see, it's got this kind of lining, and I just think that'll be torn up easily by pencil, so um, I'm just going to call it her, 
her little purse, whatever, or just her little storage thing for her jewelry and her, her hair things. And for privacy, I just put her little um, pair of underwear inside. And just, like I said, to keep that out of the way, I just um, zip that up as much as I could so it wouldn't be in my way so much. Okay. Um, in this little bag, she has the accessories that go to these two little girls. I gave her two of the Forever Friends dolls. She has... This one, whose shoes don't want to stay on. And this one. So she has some dolls to play with. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Obviously, this is a girl, but it's for 10 to 14. And I just cut out their pictures and... Where's the other little thing? Where'd it go? Oh, here. I cut out their pictures and the information... Um, about each girl, what they like and what they dream of and all that kind of thing. What they want to be when they grow up. I just thought she might be looking at the pictures and reading the cards. So I put those in there. Um, <clears throat> she has in here, um, I think it's two different outfits with the um, shoes and um, backpack, hairbrush. See, this bag does not want to stay closed. Um, I wonder where that dog is. I hope she's not up to no good. My son's dog. <sighs> anyway, okay. I gave her one of the International Women's Day cars. Um, just slipped that in there. Girls do like cars, too. It's a little nice filler item. Um, in this watermelon bag... So, she actually has two watermelon bags because I intended for that to be the pencil pouch and this to be like a little, you know, wallet or whatever. But in here, I put her nail stuff. Um, she has these press-on nails and I put the directions. I cut that out and put that in there so she know exactly how to do them. I had to kind of cut it at the end so it could kind of squish down enough where it wouldn't bulge in here. I, whoops. I put a whistle in here for safety for her. That's nice for a girl. Um, so I gave her that. Um, she has her nail items, utensils, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I don't know. But she has her clippers. She has a watermelon uh, emery board like this. She has her cuticle pusher and trimmer. She has uh, four little um, emery boards that, whoops, that look like this. And that sound, <laughs> I hope that doesn't bother anybody. That used to drive my, um, I think it still does, my mom's younger brother nuts. He's two years younger than I am. <laughs> and, you know, a girl has to follow her nails sometimes. And he always thought I was doing it on purpose just to bug him. And I was not. I actually would have a snag and I'd be doing my nails and he'd start whining when we were little. But... Anyway, <laughs> she has these. So that is kind of like her nail bag and her whistle bag. She put her whistle somewhere else, but for now it's going in here. And I didn't put anything in here. Um, she has some of the Sesame Street makeup, the palette for eye and face. I gave her that. She has a little um, uh, reindeer stuffy, just so she, she blah, 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 blah. I'm going to get tongue tied. <laughs> just so she has <laughs> something soft. <laughs> she sells seashells. <laughs> something soft to uh, snuggle with. <laughs> I put in this watermelon bowl um, that I picked up. I thought that was kind of cool. She could eat out of it. And since it had watermelon, I had to get it for this box. Um, she has another watermelon accessory, a clip. Um, I just stuck this here because it, um, it wasn't good in the pouch. Good grief, does this open? 
Oh my, why is it not opening? <laughs> is it stuck? What in the world? I don't know. Anyway, I'm not mess with that. I made her um, a watermelon colored neck um, bracelet in red and green. So she has something handmade. Um, she has this little uh, penguin with the uh, bulging eyes, little keychain. She can hang that somewhere. She's got um, one of the mirrors from Dollar Tree, one of the pretty mirrors. Um, she has this decor piece with the watermelon and the beads, and she can just hang this in her room or drape it over something or wherever she wants to put it. I did give her, um, the only large bar of soap I have left for my boxes, and it's Frosted Cranberry, and it smells really good. So she has that, so she can smell good. And she has this um, complexion trio from Sesame Street. Um, she has her washcloth. She has her privacy pouch. And inside here, she has um, some of the um, disposable uh, sanitary pads. I like those. I mean, not disposables. The reusables. The ones you can wash and reuse. I don't want to take them out because I had such trouble getting them in there the way I wanted them. She has um, colored pencils. She has in her pencil box, <clears throat> I had to use this pencil box because, you know, there's the thing with this. So, um, in here she has her green scissors, a watermelon. She has her green sharpener. She has her glue stick. She has a highlighter. Um, she has some uh, cap erasers. She has, let me just get this down in here so I can get it all out. She has a hamburger eraser. She has a hot dog eraser. I didn't have any watermelons. <laughs> I wish I had. She has um, a ruler with flowers on it. She has one of those tracers in red with butterflies. Um, she has, let's see, two yellow pencils, one's sharpened and one's not. She has three watermelon pens. Those are pretty cool. And she has one pencil with a watermelon eraser. And then she has um, some more various colored um, pencils. So that's what she has in her pencil pouch. Actually, let's close this up because I want to show you guys. We'll see if I can get it packed back up like I had it. Um, it's doubtful, but I'll check and see. <laughs> you guys can laugh at me if I can't get it back in there. Um, I think one year I may just do um, a bunch of pencil pouches and stuff to go to the uh, processing center and maybe do fewer boxes. I don't know. It just maybe not. I just love pa packing the boxes so well. I may not do that. <laughs> I may just do both. But anyway, so there's her pencil tin. She's got uh, a, a reddish cone, red toothbrush with a green cap. I want everything to cut it. Everything possible to be red and green. Um, she has this puzzle. And uh, the puzzle is this one with the birds, 500 pieces. I think that's a pretty picture. And I hope that she likes it. And I put the whole box in so that she can reassemble it and put the pieces in if she wants to. And I put them in a Ziploc so that um, I, I didn't open the bag that came in. I just put it inside a Ziploc so she could store it in there if she wants to. Um, she has a little ladybug notebook. And I decided that this would be kind of cool to put in a box. Um, I bought this to go in a girl's box. And it's one of those jot foldable storage boxes. Um, you all have seen them at um, Dollar Tree. And I thought that would be cool for her to store some of her things in, carry some of her things in, whatever. So that's why I got that. I put one of the drinking pouches in. Um, does it have a watermelon on it? 
no, I don't see a watermelon, but you know, you eat a lot of watermelon in summer, so I gave her a summery looking one. Um, I didn't have any more uh, red notebooks. You know what? I bet I do have one in that bag there. Hmm. I have another bag. I'll have to check that because I don't, the purple kind of messes up my aesthetic, but I'll check. She has, I gave her two of the dress up do girls paper dolls so that if she has a little friend or sibling, one of them can be one doll, the other one can be the other. That's why I gave her two. Um, I gave her this fashion and makeup coloring book. It ha actually has some coloring pages, but it's got a lot where she can design her own jewelry and stuff. Um, so, I, well, I guess I'm not gonna get anything except that. Hold on. <laughs> I know it's in here. Yeah, okay, stuff like that. And she has her watermelon tote bag. So, I really, really love this thing. And I am going to pause this for a second, guys, and see if I do have a red notebook. I bought some more notebooks. Let me check. 